<laughs> Greetings, boys and gits, and welcome again to Dread War Gaming. In today's episode, I'm going to be starting another new project. I am terrible for starting projects, but this channel is helping me actually get them through and get them finished, as you're going to see with my Got Tank series. But the new series that I'm starting is actually on an entirely new subject. And if the title hasn't given it away, it's, of course it has, it's Gaslands. So Gaslands, what the naff in hell is that? Well, I heard about Gaslands because of Speed Freaks. So back in October, when Speed Freaks came out, I was reviewing it and I was talking about it. And a few people said to me, yo, Dread, have you heard of Gaslands? It's very similar to Gaslands. I think they basically ripped it off. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, I haven't. No, uh, oh, look at it. Oh, it sounds good. Definitely sounds good. And I won't lie, it sounds good. But you know how it is. It's the same way with, you know, someone that says to you, oh, we're going for a drink. You know, time flies by, you forget you said you'd do it. And, you know, you bump into each other the next time. You're like, oh, yeah, we was going to, oh, yeah, of course we was. So I bumped into gas lands again, almost by mistake, uh, when I was patrolling the internet and it's just some cool video that came up. I was like, what's, what's, what's all this thing? Gaslands cool modification of a car. It's post-apocalyptic. I suppose where I search poke apocalyptic and stuff like that, post-apocalyptic, all that. That's probably why it came up. So I clicked into it and oh my God, I was like, oh, awesome. So basically the gist of it is, why it's so bloody awesome is it's a really, really approachable game. So it for a 10 year old kid, with a fiver in his pocket, he can start playing. Because all he needs is a couple of Matchbox cars or a couple of um, Hot Wheels cars. Matchbox, Hot Wheels, you know, the small little cars. Now, there's a rule set for playing them. Uh, there's a book called Gaslands, the book. It's printed by Osprey. I've ordered it myself because although I have already got myself the PDF, a friend passed on to me, and anyone can get the rules for free online, the best well, the only way to support this brilliant concept is really to buy the book and to buy the templates. You can, of course, get it all free online. But I want to buy them because I do actually want to support this idea. I think it's one of few concepts that I've really fell in love with just like that. It's brilliant because, like I say, a poor kid could play it. And I wish it existed when I was a kid because I used to have a few Hot Wheels cars or Matchbox cars when I was a kid. And I used to actually pretend that they were you know, badass and all the rest of it. I'm sure a few of us did. Well, in this, you stick them little guns to it and you put extra exhaust on and all that sort of stuff and you actually play them as a tabletop game and it looks like it's fairly easy to learn too. So I'm definitely going to give it a go. And this is my first episode looking at it. So I've told you what it basically is. Now, what people do is, you, like I say, you can just get yourself some Hot Wheels cars and just write down on your little data card or whatever what features it has and just imagine that it has them i mean after all their toys you can use your imagination you don't have to do anything more however if you're an experienced modeler or someone that's just getting into modeling and in fact i think these are a really good place to start because they're a cheap and b very forgiving um you can start taking your hot wheels or your matchbox cars breaking them up and adding details to them, repainting them and making them badass, all right? So I'm going to throw up a couple of uh, inspirational images while I'm talking so you can have a look at some other people's amazing post-apocalyptic hot wheels, hot uh, matchbox cars, and uh, hopefully they'll inspire you to get involved. Um, like I say, it's going to cost you five to ten quid. Uh, for a couple of Hot Wheels cars. I actually picked up a bunch of used ones from um, a local hobby store that usually does like die cast models anyway, um, but it doesn't usually have like the Hot Wheels cars, you know, they're not usually what he does. He does like the really nice ones, you know, like show off he runs. It's only a small shop, so ain't usually got space for that sort of stuff. Uh, but when I went in there the other day, just weirdly looking in town for Hot Wheels cars for the purpose of doing gas lands, I strolled on in there and he had his bottom shelf cleared of all its usual stuff 
with a load of Hot Wheels cars, all old ones, all damaged box, matchbox cars, and there's just a sign saying, all second-hand cars, uh, 50 cent. So I picked up, I don't know how many I picked up, I picked up a nice big bag full. I've got some real treats in here too. So there's lots you can do with them. Now this, for example, I might use that for something orky. I mean, this is basically a mobile fire engine, I mean, a fire extinguisher, but that will make a really good air intake for a um, truck or battle wagon or something like that. So any of the orky wagons. So I picked that up for that reason. Cool. Um, I've got some of these old vintagey looking ones because the, the top bit's plastic, so that, that brown bit will all come off. And it can, you know, there a lot of them are for component bits you now, and they're not going to look anything like they do at the moment. But that said, I did get some old classics. So I've got here, I've got a, uh, a Renault 5 Turbo, <laughs> little rally. Um, what else did we get? Got this little one, this is a bit broken, but it's got this cool detail on the top, this roof rack. I won't leave it on there, I'm gonna take that off, but I'll use it on something else, on another one. Uh, but that's like a nice Jeep, you can tell that just by looking at the front. <laughs> the bonnet, that's definitely a Jeep. Very cool, I always wanted to own a Jeep. I own a Land Rover, but I don't own a Jeep. Um, oh, this is nice, look, a little uh, BMW. What, which one is that? It's a MJ, BMW MJ. Rally car. <laughs> so when these are made up, I've got a whole bag of them here and I've got a whole box of them too that I picked up from the actual toy shop, like new ones. Um, so I'm going to set about getting involved in Gaslands. I just want to tell you guys a little bit about it and uh, tell you that I'm, I'm starting it. You know, this is where I'm going. A little bit of this, but I'm going to do it really awky. This is the point. I'm going to actually make an orc squad of Gaslands cars. They're probably gonna have all their windows and stuff closed up on the first batch of them I do, you know, armoured up and stuff like that in an awkward way, because I don't have any scale orcs. Um, there are some companies that make little scale guys and little add-ons and stuff, and one of those is Ramshackle Games. Now, if you haven't already seen my episode about Ramshackle Games, click on the link above here. Do, 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 do. That'll take you to my Ramshackle Games episode, in which you'll get a code for 10% discount on Ramshackle Games products. And there you can pick up, not only can you pick up amazing stuff for Orcs and amazing stuff for any 40K themed stuff, you actually can pick up stuff for Gaslands. He actually does some conversion kits for cars and stuff like that. So if you're a Gaslands enthusiast and you found my channel through Gaslands, then maybe you want to check out Ramshackle Games and utilize my 10% discount code. <laughs>